Welcome to Signal Equipment. Today in this video, we're going to learn how to properly erect and lay down a Wolf Tech stretch wrapper. When your stretch wrapper arrives at your facility, it's gonna be in the laid down position. You're gonna need some basic rigging materials to properly and safely raise it up, erect it, and then lay it back down when it's ready to ship out. What we used today was a fork attachment that you secure to the forks and a strap and two clevises. And once you have that properly attached to the eye hook on the top of the Wolf Tech, one forklift raises while the other pushes the skid forward. When you're raising up and laying down this Wolf Tech, you really need two forklift operators that are in sync. That means communication is key. Uh, you need to be moving in motion together. If one's raising too fast and the other's not pushing, you're liable to damage the machine or break the strap. Now, once your stretch wrapper is erected, there are two bolts in the back of it. Some have three, some have four. You insert the bolts to keep the stretch wrapper erected safely. So once your Wolf Tech stretch wrapper is erected, you wanna make sure that there's two cables that are connected. One is for the motor that controls the turntable and the other is for the photo eye sensor for the mast. At Sigma Equipment, when we lay down a Wolf Tech stretch wrapper, we like to brace the mast so that the paint isn't damaged. As you can see behind me, there's a piece of wood that is elevating the mast off of the turntable. But when you're ready to send back your Wolf Tech stretch wrapper, make sure you use some synthetic banding to secure the mast to the skid. Don't use metal banding because that might scratch up the paint. If you have any questions about erecting or laying down your Wolf Tech stretch wrapper, then contact us at sigmaequipment.com.